hello guys and welcome to another video. I'm sorry about my voice. I, I was screaming during that Nintendo Direct. Wow, that Direct. That was a Direct. That was absolutely amazing. I did like the February Direct and a few other um, post-2020 Directs, even though some of them have been kind of a bit weird um, with some of the farming simulators and JRPGs and everything. I mean, I, I do like a few JRPGs, but I feel like it was kind of getting a little too much. Um, there really wasn't that much variety. But with this Direct, it was absolutely amazing. There were so many things that I liked about it. And one specific franchise that definitely got a highlight in this Direct for multiple games is Mario. I will talk about some of the other things in separate videos, like Pikmin, different things like that, and even Detective Pikachu, which I think looks pretty interesting, though I am a bit concerned about it as well. But yeah, with Mario, Mario fans are eating good. We went from not really looking forward to much, because we really only had the booster course pass, like, since we got the movie, that was like the main thing we were looking forward to, so after that we didn't really have anything big to look forward to. I mean, then also, like, last year, um, Sparks of Hope, which was another highly anticipated game released. So, over the past couple months, we really haven't been looking forward to any specific game. Until now, I feel like we were overwhelmed with a bunch of Mario games here. I don't think there's been a Direct that has revealed this many Mario games since around 2017 or 2018. Or even 2019, around that time. Um, I feel like since 2020, I feel like Mario announcements have been kind of spaced out, which is definitely understandable since the pandemic happened and everything. Um, but now it seems like a lot of these Mario games are actually releasing and everything. I know we did get like a lot of spin-offs and um, a couple ports and different things over the past couple years, but now I feel like we're really kind of going back full force into Mario. Like it almost feels like the early 2010s a little bit when we got a bunch of Mario games, but in this specific case, most of the games we're getting seem to be of very high quality and actually look to be really good. Um, so yeah, now is definitely a good time to be a Mario fan, especially since the movie just released. And I think they revealed this many Mario games because of the movie. I think it kind of makes sense. Like, I feel like they're still kind of going off of the hype of the movie and everything. And it, it, I definitely expected a lot of these. And a lot of these I didn't expect as well. A lot of these are very surprising. Especially considering, like, the state of modern Nintendo and um, a, what a lot of people assumed modern um, Mario was kind of being handled. But yeah, I'm gonna discuss the Mario announcements. So yeah, the first one, which was the most exciting for me, honestly. I've been a fan of the Paper Mario series for a few years now. Um, as well as the Mario & Luigi series, so I guess Mario RPGs in general are just something that I really like. And for quite a while, we really haven't gotten anything super ambitious for the Mario RPGs. Like, I would say the last, like, fully original thing we've gotten, um, without any, like, restrictions or restraints, um, was Mario & Luigi Dream Team. And I say that because a lot of these games have been kind of had, they've been having some issues, I'd say, or some of them aren't as large scale, or um, some of them are just like re-releases. I know this is a remake, but this is a very impressive remake. Um, like Mario & Luigi Paper Jam, I know some people enjoyed it, the battle system was good, it was just underwhelming overall, because, I mean, I feel like it was definitely, it definitely had a lot of missed potential there. And... The modern Paper Mario games, um, Color Splash wasn't very good in my opinion. Origami King, I liked Origami King. I thought it was good, but it really isn't a replacement for traditional Mario RPGs. Like, there's a lot that I like about it, and it definitely brings back some Mario RPG elements, but it really doesn't feel like a full return. And then the Mario & Luigi series is kind of in a, like, it's kind of in a state where we're not really certain what will happen to the series. Um, so the Mario & Luigi series is kind of rolled out, and then we did get those remakes, and they were pretty good remakes, in my opinion, but they were 3DS games, not like full-scale HD games, so there's that. 
and we've also been getting the Mario plus Rabbids games as well, which I also really like, especially Sparks of Hope, since it is more, um, like, Sparks of Hope definitely brings it more towards a traditional RPG. Um, and I'd even say that Sparks of Hope is a part of this Mario RPG resurgence, but it isn't a traditional RPG, and I feel like it doesn't fully, um, complete that Mario RPG fix. But the Super Mario RPG remake definitely does that. Like, it, it's definitely probably the most ambitious, traditional Mario RPG thing we've gotten in quite a while. And it is looking absolutely amazing. Like, the art style looks really cool. I really like the, um, kind of the general modern Mario art style being implemented here. It's not like the new Super Mario Bros. style. It's just, like, general modern Mario combined with the aesthetics and character designs with Mario RPG. All of the original stuff is intact. Like, all the original characters and different things, the, the original enemies, the locations, all of that is intact, but just translated in HD to fit along with the Mario art style. This is amazing. This is exactly what I wanted from a remake of Mario RPG. I know some people were throwing out there that they wanted an HD 2D remake of Super Mario RPG, but I don't really think that would fit the style of the game, because it was kind of going for a 3D pre-rendered style in the original game. So I feel like the modern Mario style, um, with those original elements kept intact, is definitely the best approach, and it definitely makes it feel like a high-quality, full-priced game from how it looks here. It, it looks really clean overall, the UI looks really nice, the cutscenes look beautiful. I've been wanting, like, a cinematic a Mario RPG for quite a while. I know Origami King kind of got close to that, but um, the cutscenes they showed here were amazing. And I'm also surprised that they kept a lot of these original character designs. Like, it really seems like they're keeping everything intact here, which is really nice. And it kind of goes to show that these Mario mandates or Mario restrictions don't really exist outside of the Paper Mario series. I used to think they kind of existed because of a Mario Party superstars not having like the toads from the original Mario Party games, but I don't really think that was a decision um, due to that. Um, I don't really think there's any like mandates or restrictions holding back the Mario franchise now, and I'll definitely discuss that with like some more of the Mario announcements that were shown in this direct. But Super Mario RPG looks absolutely incredible. I am really looking forward to this. I. I've played a little bit of the original game, and I think I will play it a little more, um, but I'm probably going to fully play through and beat this game um, once um, this releases and everything, and Nintendo is really hyping this up too. It really feels like Nintendo is giving the older RPGs the most acknowledgement they have in quite a while. This is really exciting, and I am really looking forward to this. The fact that they remade it fully in 3D kind of shows how much they cared about this project. And, like, and another thing, like, the music and the presentation is just great overall. This just looks absolutely amazing, and this might end up being, like, one of my favorite games of all time, because I haven't played enough of Mario RPG to judge that for sure, but I... I definitely feel like this remake could definitely be up there with Thousand Year Door, Super Mario Odyssey, and games like that is one of my favorites of all time. It just looks incredible. And I'm also glad that Gino is back as well, because Gino is really cool, and um, I wish Gino and Mallow would be in more Mario spin-offs, or like actual like Mario spin-offs now, now that they're now that they have a fully 3D appearance in the general Mario um, 3D art style, so I think that's pretty cool. So, the next thing that they showed was a new game about Princess Peach, which was pretty interesting. We don't really know that much about it. All that we know is that there's kind of like a new character. Peach has like different outfits, I think. But I think it looks really cool. I, I really like the style and everything. It definitely looks pretty unique. It definitely seems like there's a lot of characters and, and everything. It definitely seems like a pretty unique experience. I wonder if this will be Super Princess Peach 2. I know, like, aesthetically, it kind of has some differences from Super Princess Peach, because it is a fully 3D game, which is really nice, but, um, 
I, I'm not sure. I think they might have it as something different, but I do think it would be cool if they put some elements of Super Princess Peach in um, this new Princess Peach game and everything. And I just really like that they're doing more um, really creative and really interesting Mario spin-offs overall. And like in fully in 3D too, it's just really nice. And then there's also the Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon um, remake which I think is pretty cool. I'm not sure if it's a full remake or like a remaster with like updated like elements, like updated models and things. But the fact that they said it's in development, I think this is somewhat of a remake. Um, and I'm not sure if it's being done by Grezzo or Next Level Games. I feel like Next Level Games is probably working on the next full Luigi's Mansion game. Um, and I feel like that's probably not going to happen for another few years. So if I were to bet on any developer doing this, I would say probably Grezzo, but um, I think it's still possible for Next Level Games to do this, because it does it does seem like the style of Next Level Games, since Next Level Games did develop the original Dark Moon. And with Dark Moon, I know some people are critical of that game, but honestly, I actually like all Luigi's Mansion games equally, so I'm definitely really excited about this. And yeah, so that was kind of like the first batch of Mario announcements that we got. But moving on to the DLC for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, this looks pretty cool. So we finally got the bathroom track, which was leaked a while ago, kind of like the Yoshi's Island track. And it looks pretty cool. It doesn't look like a tour track. Like, it, again, it seems like they're putting a lot of effort into these um, DLC tracks ever since Wave 2 and 3. They've definitely been putting a lot of effort into this. And we're actually getting three characters this time, and they're pretty interesting characters, too. Not, like, really, like, um, something like, like, some generic character or something. They're actually, like, really interesting, like, um, PD Piranha, um, which is returning from Double Dash. I know PD Piranha was also in, um, Mario Kart Tour, but I think it's really cool seeing him in 8 Deluxe as well. And then also Wiggler as well from Mario Kart 7. And then Wiggler also up appeared in some other Mario spin-offs as well, like a Mario Golf and Mario Tennis and different things. But it's cool to see Wiggler here. I don't think Wiggler is in Mario Kart Tour, but I do think they'll probably add him in the future. So I think it's cool that we are technically getting characters that aren't in Tour, um, which is definitely nice. And then finally, there's Kamek, which is definitely um, one character that a lot of people have been wanting. Um, that's definitely one of my personal um, wanted characters, since I feel like Kamek is kind of infamous for being scrapped from a lot of Mario Kart games. Um, since he was originally going to appear in Mario Kart 64, but then he was scrapped, and I think he was also planned for the base version of Mario Kart 8 on the Wii U, but was also scrapped. So, Kamek is finally getting in a console Mario Kart game. This is the... Um, redemption arc that he needed um the, i i don't i wouldn't call it a redemption arc but the, the comeback i guess um i pandic is finally in a um puzzle mario kart game so i think that's pretty cool and definitely pretty exciting so yeah i'm glad we're getting three characters this time and i wonder if we're gonna get any other extra features i mean they wouldn't reveal it in the direct but sometimes we get something like custom items or things like that but it would be cool if we got like new carts and things like that. The one cart that Kamek was on looked different, but I'm not sure if that's just the coloration due to Kamek being on it. Um, I don't know. They might add some new carts and different things, but yeah, Wave 5 is looking pretty good. The bathroom track looks pretty nice um, as a track there. Like, it definitely seems like they put a lot of detail into it. But yeah, I actually predicted the bathroom track yesterday on a stream, so I thought it was funny that um, they actually, like, showed it here, um, since that was definitely one track that a lot of Mario Kart fans were anticipating. But yeah, so next up, we have a couple more announcements here, I know, like, the Mario things keep going on and on, but, um, a new WarioWare game! I did not expect that at all! I thought Get It Together was gonna be the only game on the Switch. And the thing about this one, I feel like it controls more, like, tr the traditional... WarioWare games, um, I mean, I wouldn't really say traditional in, like, the sense where, um, it has certain gimmicks, but I mean more traditional, like, it's kind of like, um, WarioWare Smooth Moves, it's kind of like that, 
but I am so glad that WarioWare is fully back. We first got gold on the 3DS, which was like a collection of a lot of micro games, which was really nice, and also fully voice acted cutscenes there, which were really cool. Then we got Get It Together in 2021, which was very fun. It's definitely one of my favorite WarioWare games, along with Gold and some of the others. But now we're getting WarioWare Move It. And I did not expect this at all. Um, but yeah, it definitely seems to be similar to Smooth Moves, though I think they are going to take advantage of the Joy-Cons more. This is actually kind of what I was expecting WarioWare to originally be like um, on the Switch and everything. Is get it together, I do think the game is very fun, and it's very good, and this game will probably be just as good as Get It Together, but um, Get It Together was more, it, its gimmick was more of controlling the characters rather than kind of doing different things in a micro game. I really like that idea, but I do think it's cool that we're also getting um, kind of like a more um, motion control oriented WarioWare as well. Um, we're really getting the best of both worlds here, and this is really nice that we're getting like um two WarioWare games on the Switch and three over the past five years. So I, I really like that they kind of fully brought back this series. And you know, thinking about it, I'm not really too surprised that WarioWare is back. I mean I was kind of initially surprised, but um the first few WarioWare games actually released just within a couple years of each other, like Mega Micro Games, then Touched Mega Party Games, Twisted, Smooth Moves, they all released within just a few years. So I don't think it's too surprising that we're getting one just a couple years after Get It Together. And one thing that I really liked about um, WarioWare Move It was um, some of these Nintendo micro games, like, um, like Nine Volts um, games here that were shown, um, look really cool, like 64DS. Oh, one of my fa like one of my favorite um, nostalgic Mario games is kind of being represented here. Not Mario 64, but 64 DS. I love that acknowledgement here. Um, so yeah, WarioWare Move It definitely one of the most underrated announcements from this direct, and I am really looking forward to it. The only thing is, it's releasing pretty close to mario rpg but i mean it is warioware so it's probably only gonna take like a couple days to like play through the story but it, it is really nice that we're getting a new um warioware game and then finally we got a new mainline mario game a 2d one specifically with super mario bros wonder and just like how super mario rpg was exactly what i wanted from a remake of mario rpg this is exactly what I wanted from a new 2D game and more. Like, this isn't just like a completely new refresh for 2D Mario, like New Super Mario Bros. was, but this is just, like, it, it goes beyond that. Like, this is, like, almost as unique as, like, Super Mario Bros. 2 or Super Mario Land and Super Mario Land 2. Like, this is on that level of unique, honestly. And... I just really like the visuals here. Like, it doesn't go for that standard, um, new Super Mario Bros. style. It It isn't really 2.5D, but it does kind of have, like, a watercolor 2D-ish style. Um, I wouldn't say necessarily cell shaded but, like, it does kind of have a lot of 2D elements to it, and it's not that standard new Super Mario Bros. style. So it looks very nice, and I really like the updated design for Mario here. I know they're still in the promotional art doing the same design and everything, but I really like the design for the Mario characters here. It, it, it looks really nice and definitely visually pretty unique. Yoshi also got a redesign as well, which looks really nice, and I didn't expect that. I, I think Yoshi's appearance is kind of in line with some of Yoshi's older appearances, and almost kind of looks like how he did in, um, or the Yoshi characters looked in the Mario RPG um, remake and everything. So, yeah, I honestly, this, I mean, some of the designs here kind of look in line with the RPG remake, but it's just really, really nice here. I just really like the style, and the gameplay seems to be kind of changing up as well. Um, it seems like there's a lot of new moves and power-ups. I know they showed the one elephant power-up there, which looked pretty cool. Um, it was funny at the end, they showed, like, the apple there, 
So yeah, the um, elephant Mario looks pretty cool. And then there was also one where they were like rolling around, um, similar to like the rock power up from um, Galaxy 2. But yeah, this looks visually really nice and really impressive. Um, but yeah, I just really like this overall. Just <laughs> between Mario RPG and this, like those were probably my two favorite announcements from the direct. Like this just. Like, there's so many things that I could talk about with Super Mario Bros. Wonder. It just, it, it's exactly what I wanted from a 2D Mario game. And, like, the fact that it has more characters, too. I was worried that they'd just do Mario, Luigi, Toad, Toadette, like they did for the past few years. Um, but they're actually doing more characters now. Like, you could play as Peach and Daisy, which is really nice, actually returning from um, Super Mario Run, which is really nice. Um, you could play as the Yoshis as well. Like, Mario can ride on the Yoshi, and then also, like, um, play, or you could also play as Yoshi separately. There's all of these new characters, like, there was this one character that kind of looked like a toad. And, yeah, this just looks really good. I am really looking forward to this game. Um, and yeah, the, I really like the art style here. It's just really impressive and really cool overall. I'm glad they're doing something completely unique and unexpected for 2D Mario. I am just really looking forward to this. And yeah, there was also like this Dark Bowser Jr. thing and like, I don't know, like there's just so much to talk about here. I feel like, like, I feel like we were so used to the Mario series just being like the same thing, well, the 2D Mario game specifically being the same thing over and over again with very small improvements. So I feel like it kind of feels overwhelming when we get something like this. Like this is on the level of like Rayman Legends, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, Kirby Planet Robobot, Sonic Superstars. Like this is the Mario equivalent of that. And I couldn't be more happier. This is like amazing. But yeah, anyways, we got a ton of Mario related things in this direct and it was definitely really exciting overall. We definitely have a lot to look forward to as Mario fans. So anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more and make sure to check out my Discord server if you want to. Goodbye.